What's up, clubbers? GM, GM, GM. Welcome to Web3 Club. In today's video, what we're going to learn is how to be create a Web3 bot to automatically execute transactions. Up until now, whatever we have discussed, most of the transactions we have done by a hand by clicking some button, by going to the UI and then clicking a execute or a call or whatever button and making sure the transaction goes through. But today, what we are going to learn is how do we use a script to basically execute the transactions that we want to execute. There are a lot of people who have been asking me how do they automatically send an NFT to somebody? How do they automatically send some tokens to somebody? And this is where you get your answers. But before we get started, please make sure to hit that like button and subscribe to the channel if you're new here. If you want to send me a message, please leave it in the YouTube comments. Or if you have a specific question, come join my Discord server. There are a bunch of people just like you and me who are trying to help each other out. All right, with that said, let's get started. All right, before we actually get into the code and stuff, uh, first I want to discuss why do we even need to create a bot for our Web3 application? More specifically, why do we need to create a bot to interact with our smart contract or any smart contract for that matter? One reason is to create a trading bot to find arbitrage and make profit from it. Suppose there are two different Xs and a price of Ether on one Dex is X and the price of ether on another dex is y if there is a difference between x and y you can pretty much make good amount of profit without risking anything this thing is called arbitrage and a lot of people do that and bots are the best thing to work on that because you as a human will never be as quick as a bot can be you can also create bots to give gasless experience for your users you can spend gas on behalf of them so that the transactions or transfers of assets can be handled by your bot and the bot will end up paying the gas. Smart contracts don't have cron like systems. So if you want to run a periodic job, you will need to use a bot to periodically send a transaction to execute that job. And you can use it for a bunch of other things as well, like fraud detection, conditional actions. So if you have detected some sort of fraud and you want to stop the smart contract from doing anything, a bot will come in handy as you know, it will detect and simply send the transaction. Similarly, if there is some real world condition that has been met and after that you want to stop the smart contract minting or anything like that, a bot again becomes very helpful in that case. Now there are two different libraries which are generally used for creating bots. One is called Web3 and the other is Ethers.js. There are a bunch of other libraries as well in bunch of different languages. For example, Go has its own Python has its own, but today I'm only talking about the JavaScript Node.js ecosystem. So today we'll be focusing on Web3.js as I believe that is much more user friendly as compared to Ether.js. And also because I use Web3.js to explain all the front end code. So it is just naturally obvious for me to use Web3.js instead of Ether.js. Although if you want a tutorial on Ether.js, please let me know in the YouTube comments and I'll try to make that one as well. Now, as you can see here to install Web3, you need to have NPM and Node.js installed. So make sure you have Node.js installed on your machine and that actually comes with NPM. So let me open my terminal and create a new directory called bot and let me cd into that directory. Now that I'm in this directory, I will just init this directory with NPM with npm init then space hyphen y. Now the next thing that I need to do is add web3. So I'll write npm install web3. Now it'll take a minute to install web3 uh, and after that we can just go and start working on it. Now while it is installing, I've also opened web3 documentation and if you see over here, there is a getting started and a lot of other things that you can just go through. What I am looking for is web3. So this is how I require web3 in my bot or in my script or whatever you want to call it so i just need to write var or const or let or whatever web3 equals require in web3 so i'm just going to create a new file called bot.js and there i will write const web3 equals require web3 now notice that this web3 has capital w now this web3 allows us to create a new object so i'll just call that object small w web3 which will be new capital w web3 and now we need to send the provider string or provider connection options now what are provider connection options provider string or 
configuration tells Web3 how do we connect to the blockchain. This is where blockchain providers like Infura, Alchemy and bunch of others come in. So you can take their provider server URL I believe and just paste it here. What I'm going to do is I'm going to use Cloudflare Eth's provider. This is a free to use provider but of course it is not the most reliable. So if you're looking for something low latency and high stability and everything make sure to use Infura or Alchemy or some other provider or spin up your own node. The Cloudflare Eth has this URL, all right? Now the next thing that we need to do is figure out what kind of transaction we need to execute from our bot. So what I want to do is I want to send one NFT to an address that I will be sending to the script so that that script sends an NFT to that address. So firstly, what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a new Ethereum address. So I'll just click start now and just click generate over here and this has given me a new address which has a private key so i'm just going to copy this private key and use it in my application make sure not to use this private key because this is out there on the internet and no funds will be safe on this address now that i have the private key what i'm going to do is const account equals web3 um, dot eth dot accounts dot private key to account and then I need to pass the private key over here. So when I do this, I get the account object. Now this has the private key with which we will be signing all the transactions. Now one more thing that I want to do is I want to import this private key into my metamask. So I'm going to paste it over here and click import. And now I have this private key imported over here. So the next thing that I will do is get some eth. So I'm using Rinke by test network and I have asked to receive some eth. Now as soon as receive that eth what I want to do is deploy an NFT. So to do that I'm going to open the open zeppelin wizard. In the wizard I'm going to open ERC721 and just call the, make this mintable and auto increment ID. Now you can see in this smart contract already it allows me to mint a new NFT to a specific a different address than mine. So this is exactly what I need whenever somebody inputs their address. I will just safe mint an NFT to their address. So I'm going to open this in Remix. The next thing that I'll do is I'll just uh, compile this and now that it is compiled I'll just go and select the environment as injected provider and select my 0.1 ether address the address that I've just imported and here I will select my contract and click on deploy now when I click on deploy is it is asking me to do a bunch of things basically just confirm the transaction so that the smart contract deploys now as soon as the smart contract deploys we will have an object with which we can play all right so the smart contract has now deployed the next thing that i need is basically the abi so i'll just go here and select my token i have byte code and abi so i just need the abi right now and i'm just going to paste this abi over here it's a huge <laughs> it's a huge javascript object but we don't need to look at it all the time i can just do it like this and once I have the ABI, I also need the address uh, on the Rinke by test network. So I'll just copy the address and write over here. Okay, so now I have the address and the ABI. So the next thing that I can create is the contract object from the web3 file, from the web3 library. So if you go to web3.eth.contract over here, you will see that this is how you can create the contract object. So to do that, we have var contract equals new contract json interface which is the abi and the address so the contract will be web3.eth.contract and uh, the json interface we already have the address we already have so let's just create the new contract again contract equals new web3.eth.contract and then you need to pass the abi first and then the address all right so now we have the contract now what we need is the address to which we want to send the nft so let me just go to metamask and select my own address my first address and i've just copied the address and i'll just create a const receiver equals this and then paste my address so now I have the address as well. You can get this address from anywhere. You can get this from process.env or the arguments while executing this file or from a database or anywhere else. 
now i found a website with which i was able to find a rinkeby url uh, if you don't find this you can just sign up on infura and they give you a free free url to test with after we have our receiver what we do is create a small send function so this function allows us to sign a transaction with our private keys the function is very simple you can just directly copy paste it if not you can just go through here first uh, what i'm doing is i'm accepting web3 account and transaction and now the address is the account dot address the options which are the options that will be signed uh, these options have a value 2 data gas and gas price data is the transactions encoded data gas is the amount of gas the maximum gas that we are willing to pay and gas price is the rate at which we will spend the gas so this gas price is generally in way and we multiply that with gas to find the total amount of gas that we will pay after that we sign the transaction with the options and the private key once we have that signed transaction uh, we basically um, send this transaction out to the mempool so the next thing that we need to do is create this transaction because we already have the account and we have the web3 object uh, so to create the transaction i have contract dot methods dot uh, the name of the method that we want is safe mint and this takes a receiver all right so this is the transaction that we want to send so this is the transaction that we have const transaction equals this all right so the next thing that we need to do is just call send with web3 account and transaction now before i run this i need to go here in the remix and see what is the total amount of nft that have been minted right now so if you will see the owner of zero is no one because it gives an error all right so you can just check that we have received an error over here there is nobody who is the owner of zeroth nft now hopefully this should work so let me just write node bot .js and press enter the terminal says that the transaction has gone through without any errors so let me just go to firefox and refresh the page of our address so this should have one more transaction and lo and behold the transaction is here now what i will do is go back to remix and check for the owner of the zeroth nft and if i press here this time I get an answer and the address that we send in the receiver is the owner of the NFT. And this is how you send transactions using a bot, using a script. Uh, now you can of course see how this, you can move this forward instead of receiver being a string. You can get this from anywhere else, from a database or something like that and just run this script again and again you can of course modify this into a method call so that you know it doesn't work as a script and that's it for today thank you so much for watching the video if you like this video please make sure to hit that like button and subscribe to this channel if you're new or haven't done that yet if you want to send me a message want to let me know what should i work on next please let me know into the youtube comments and if you have a specific question, come join my Discord server. There are a bunch of people just like you and me who are trying to help each other out. As always, the code for this will be in a link on, in the description and the private key will be available as well for you to test it out. Hope this was of help to you. Let me know. If not, what more you want to see. I hope to see you again next week. Till then, bye-bye.